and Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. Here the Dow finished up 60, NASDAQ up 25, S&P's up 14. Gold, gold, up 510, 2,651 an ounce. We had silver down 50 cents, $31 flat, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down four ticks, 114.22. The 30-year of eight ticks at 125 flat. And good old King Dollar. All right, it'll disappear on me now. There it is, come on. Whoops. Oh, there we go. There we go. King dollar up 163 ticks, 100.886, Euro 111, Yen 143, British pound 133 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the SPY first and you have the end of the program. You know, these are ABC structures up. And I think what we have here, folks, you, you got to build a little bit more cause. The cool thing is whether, you know, you're in the equity part of the market, the option part of the market, the one-day option part of the market, um, this is a nice setup, man. That's the real bottom line. You know, you broke the B. In this particular case, we not only broke a B, you broke the last two highs. You broke them with volume. And then you rejected lower price on Friday, which is huge. Then we just went sideways. I, I expect more sideways move. Man. That's the bottom line. That's the building cause. And what you do have, because we've gone so high already, you know, you, I understand why people can be bearish, man. The bottom line, that's really great for the market, though. And if we take a look at the, the Qs, well, the Qs took out the B point. They took it out with volume. Now, the Qs are not at the high. But when we just did the numbers, the bottom line is that 503 is the high. 508 is the A to B equals C to D. So I suspect, you know, bottom line, that's where we're going. Now, if that's what we get, you have to go over to the dollar. Because the dollar, the weaker the dollar gets the higher the numbers get. Now, remember something, how this works. You might have a higher number, but yet, if you sell something at a higher number and you have a lower dollar, do you actually get more for it? You don't. The cool thing is, though, is that people don't think like that. So the bottom line is that the higher numbers can get there pretty quickly. And in particular, now, this is, this is, a, this is a big heads up. Because we're at such high numbers, now when you go up 1%, you're looking at the S&P at 2%, you're looking at 100 points. Well, you have to get used to that too, because the S&P in the futures is still 50 bucks a point. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks.